And in an equally competitive game, the Cougars lost 71-66 to the Nomads. So we've got loads of basketball action to get to today. Ryan Robinson and Moses Waldo are standing by for the game pre-game analysis. Guys? Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for day three, the final day of the 2006 Women's National Basketball Tournament. I'm Ryan Robinson, along with Moses Wooldu. And today's matchup this morning featuring the Seneca Sting versus the number one ranked Mount Royal Cougars. Seneca yesterday with a big win. Seneca had a huge win, especially when they opened the, or opened the tournament with a loss. They came out with Langara, started a little bit slow, but came through later on at the end, uh, putting a lot of fast break pressure. Now it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Their free throw percentage hasn't been great, but they can run and they need to their guards to do some well. They need the guards to do well actually. And as well as their center. They need their bigger players to actually come up and produce. They are tall, but they're also lanky. And this big team right here with Mount Royal, they are, like I said, they are a huge team, and it's gonna be tough for them to get inside overall throughout the game. Well, on the other side, the Mount Royal Cougars ranked number one in the ACAC South Division. They're coming off a tough loss yesterday afternoon. We talked to their coach, uh, Donovan Martin, and he talked about why they lost, and he said they simply got out-rebounded. They had a lot of second-chance points, a lot of turnovers, and that was really hurt them. And especially, they're coming off a couple players. The key players had some injuries. Some of them are coming back as well. For example, with uh, Danielle Vogt, she is coming back, but unfortunately, uh, one of the players isn't, and I believe it was... Nadine Jackson, a torn ACL yesterday in the game against the Montmorency Nomads, which is a very tough break for them. Mm -hmm. What are the keys to the game today for the Cougars? Like I said, first thing, size does matter. The Seneca Sting, they lead this tournament with eight blocks in this tournament. They are really good in terms of getting inside, and get, like I said, they are long and lanky. They can get that in, but over time, can the Cougars pound it inside? I think that's what they gotta do in terms of actually getting the points. Like I said, Seneca, they gotta push it up, put some full court pressure, and this game should be good. Well, it has been a great tournament so far. We've seen a lot of close games. This one probably going to be much the same as we've seen so far. The Cougars on the one side, ranked number one coming into this game. However, the other team that they're playing against, ranked number five coming into this game. When you look at the matchup today, how do you see Mount Royal coming out after a tough loss yesterday? Make sure they don't play to Seneca's level. Seneca is very good. But Mount Royal, I think, has the upper advantage here. They got some great players, for example, with Ashley Hilton. She's been averaging 16 and a half points this tournament, 13 last good night. Morning. So I think she will really do well. But they got to stop her, and that's one of the keys right now. We're going to throw it now to Brian Janot for the starting lineups and the national anthem. 